Greetings fellow trans fans and welcome to another edition of Chief Triple H Triple H Transformers Toy Reviews. Uh, been ill for the last few days, so uh, <clears throat> it's just like getting over a cold and a cough and, and all sorts of phlegmy stuff that's coming out of every orifice, but you don't want to know that. Um, I was shopping today in town in our local supermarket and I came across this guy. So I thought, give it a whirl. Um, this of course is the Wolverine Transformers crossover um, Transformer thing you do nothing. Um, wasn't too sure. No, wasn't too sure what to make of them really because I'm not a huge crossover fan. I mean, I've got a couple of the um, Star Wars <coughs> figures. Um, in fact, I think I only got one. I've got the Darth Vader one, which um, I mean, it was okay. It wasn't fantastic. It wasn't anything to 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 write home about, but. Uh, you know, you, you tend to get, you know, sometimes as a fan you get things just for the sake of getting them. And that's what I did with Darth Vader. I mean, I wasn't a huge fan of the Transformers um, Star Wars crossover. But this one's interesting, I think, because obviously I also collect the, um, the comic books. And of course they recently did the Avengers Transformers crossover, which I thought was good. Um, which came in line with the IDW Transformers... Um, Rehash really uh, that came out a few years ago, um, but anyway, yeah, I thought I'd show you the box first. I mean, it's quite nice artwork. Um, don't, don't know if you can see his face there in the, there, but he's got some weird eye thing going on there. Of course, the the story behind this is that uh, Iron Man has detected alien transformer activity on the planet Earth and has created vehicles to combat against them. Um, if you read the storyline, of course, they eventually become allies with the Autobots and everyone's hunky-dory. But anyway, I'm going to open the packaging for this guy, read the idiot's guide because I have no idea how to transform him. So there we have it. Um, Wolverine in his alt mode. Uh, I just had a quick uh, transformation of him. Um, to see what it looks like and get the initial feel of uh, of the vehicle mode as well as in robot mode. You know, first first thoughts itself was, you know, the colour scheme itself obviously is, is there to reflect Wolverine. Um, you know, it, it probably, yeah, it, you know, you could see the, the character Wolverine himself driving a vehicle such as this is obviously a, a 4x4 off-road vehicle uh, sporting the blue and yellow um, spandex colour suit that he normally wears, or he's, he's associated with anyway. Um, Detailing-wise, yeah, I mean, it's, you could get away with this. As, as a 4x4 truck, obviously carrying a few spare tyres itself there on the back. Um, you can actually you can actually remove the, uh, the tyres if you wanted to, just to reveal, um, you know, it's kind of, I don't know, loading bay, whatever you want to call it, itself there. Um, wheels, um, you know, they obviously spin around. Um, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of hard to describe what, what to say, really. I mean, he does have, obviously, the jigsaw-style design, so you can obviously see where his uh, transformation is going to occur. Paint scheme-wise, I don't know, it feels cheap. You know, I'm kind of disappointed in, in the quality of the toy. However, one thing I was going to say was in the press of transforming just a second ago, I found it quite neat and tidy as well at the same time. So, bit of a hit and miss. I'm not too sure what to make of this, to be honest. <clears throat> I mean, that's, that's as I said, that's his uh, vehicle mode. Um, kind of, you know, the, the windscreen itself is kind of small compared to the size of the vehicle. You can imagine him sitting inside there. I mean, the guys, you know, I, I, obviously I know, I know some bits about Marvel history. I know that, Wolverine is a very small guy, so if that's the size of the vehicle and that's the size of the door, he's going to be about this big. And once he's sat down there, you know he's going to open the door and you're going to see like six or seven seat cushions there, probably up just a seat over the hood of the engine. That's uh, 
you know, that's obviously what's occurred to me. But apart from that, no, I mean, it's it's a truck. You can't say more than that. It, it looks looks okay. It's passable. A uh, bit of kibble on the bottom, um, which to me isn't a huge major thing. Um, but other than that, no, you can't really say much about it really. Um, transformation process is very simple. Uh, just simply lift the back tires up. Um, one that's Wolverine in his uh, robot mode itself. Obviously, the idea behind this would be the actual character Wolverine would be inside this and controlling the actual robot uh, to fight off the evil Decepticons. Um, I don't know what to make of his face. I don't know if you can see that. I've changed rooms. Just to let you know, by the way, I've, uh, I'm, I'm currently in. Whoops. In my restaurant, as you can see there. So uh, I thought it'd be a bit, bit different, a bit more uh, roomier. I say that knocking some glasses over. Um, anyway, back to the figure. I really don't know what to make of that. You know, as a transformer, yeah, it's it's okay. You know, not too sure about these little arms though. There, you know, they can they can obviously retract in to hide it, but still, you know, I'm not too sure about that. Obviously, his gimmick being Wolverine, he's got pop-out claws on both sides um, to finish off his uh, Wolverine look. Um, Obviously, kibble-wise, he's quite, he is quite neat and tidy. I must admit that he is quite neat and tidy. Obviously, he's got a little X-Men logo itself there. Um, I think it's a nice little toy. Um, not one that I'd put in my um, pride and possession kind of uh, shelf. You know, it, it is a crossover figure, so I'm not going to expect much from it. But as a uh, as a figure itself is not too bad. I mean, it's obviously been designed for smaller kids, and the transformation process is very simple. Um, he is quite neat. Um, Proportion-wise, you know, he's got a huge chest, and long arms. But you know, I've, in terms of transform, uh, transformers-wise, I've got a lot worse transformers than this guy. You know, I think any of my Beast Wars collection, you know, this guy is better than my Beast Wars collection. Um, but I don't know, I just saw him on the shelf, you know, with the new Wolverine film coming out, <coughs> download, <coughs> who may have already seen it, or uh, not seen the movie, um, you know, obviously I don't condone downloading movies at all, but, you know, obviously there's a few of us who uh, may have already seen the movie, so that's, I mean, that's why I got him, because he was in my mind, for that reason, oops, didn't, didn't pull these, you can pull these little things down as well, to, uh, Finish him off for his look there. Yeah, but um, I mean, articulation wise, he obviously moves his arms around as you do at the elbow joint. You can uh, lift his leg there. So if he needs a little wee, he can cock his leg. Um, again, at the knee joint, as you would do with most figures. I think pretty much it's standard nowadays to have that kind of articulation. Um, it, it's nice that they move. Obviously, we've moved a long way since G1. You know, with the uh, with the you know, where it's purely the arms, we could actually rotate around and whatnot and pose. And you know, posability wise they've obviously come a long way. Is what I'm trying to say. So, uh, you know, as as a crossover figure, it's not too bad. I mean, as I said, I've had the the Darth Vader um, Tie Fighter, and I was not impressed by that. You know, things were popping out, things were coming undone, and and whatnot. But this was a very neat transformation, and it's quick and easy as well. So, hopefully. For the younger fans, um, you know, they'll get on well with the figure itself. As you know, and he feels sturdy. You know, as I said, the, the outer shell itself does very feel and look very cheap. And the I can't see if you can pick up the colouring there at all, but it does just it just seems to be lacking something. I don't know. I, I'm still undecided, but there you have it. Uh, Transformers crossover Wolverine figure there. Um, so uh, thanks for watching.